1938. And of course, the building the Boeing headquarters features a Boeing store for all your Boeing shopping needs. So if you need that new airplane, there you go. We'll get the big bag out for you. Now the issue of this building is in the southwest corner, so we're now passing. They cannot drive pylons into bedrock because of railroad switching tracks. So they have to come up with a way to suspend and redistribute the weight. This entire southwest corner. So what they end up doing is completing a series of five trusses. So once they clear the bridge, if you look up and back, you're going to see a large X on the top. And that X is one of five trusses lifting and suspending that entire southwest corner. Kind of like someone's holding on to the giant hand. Being suspended rather than supported from below. On your right to North Riverside, those of the 1920s in the Art Deco style. Former home of the Chicago Daily News. Bar just used to pull up for our water taxi now docks, pick up newspapers, full of them from the city. Take a water taxi from Michigan Avenue to LaSalle and Clark, Madison Street, and down to Chinatown. And also North Avenue as well. And you do get a free one-way trip with your tickets for today only on our water taxi. Coming up on our right. These two identical black buildings, Gateway 1 and Gateway 2, both built in the early 60s by Skipper Williams and Merrill, the Miesian style. He's a drawing influence in Mies Vandero's idea, less is more. A lot of architects and SOMs in the early 60s were students under Vandero, like his philosophy enough in order to incorporate it into their design. And the most of our railroad tracks lead right into Union Station. Union is on the Metra, our Zimmerman commuter train, and Amtrak initial mine service making one of the busiest train stations in the city out of the country. So if you want to get out to the suburbs, you can take Metro and extend it to the northern, southern, and western suburbs, and also into southern Wisconsin and northwestern Indiana. You'll see Union Station itself coming up on our right in between the black and white buildings. It's going to be right through this gap in a few seconds. And you can see the Metro train right underneath right now, so that's the commuter train. And Union Station is going to be picking out just behind these trees. It's going to be a major limestone building. You can just see it now. Top set of windows. It's done by Daniel Burnham. And if you see the late 80s film, The Untouchables, Kevin Costner and Sean Connery, then a shootout scene took place in the building with a baby carriage just crashing down the stairs. And also the 70s movie Silver Street, Gene Wilder and Richard Pryor. Hey, coming up on our right, gateway number three, the white and gray building, in 1972 by Skimmerwings Merrill. These dark